Hello, so today we're gonna to be installing these tow hooks for the Miata. They are from 5X Racing. Um, I don't remember the price. I'll have them right here. They weren't too bad, actually. Um, it was actually kind of hard to find a red anodized one or powder coated one, so really surprised they had it. Pretty much have three bolts for the front tow hook here and just gotta get to those three bolts that hold the stock one. And then for the rear, I have to kind of take a look because there's a bunch of different styles, but overall it should be pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and get under the car and see what I need to get to those three bolts for the stock tow hook. All right, quick look here, using a 3 8 ratchet with a swivel and you've got three bolts holding a stock one in place. So you wanna go ahead and do it like so and get that one second one here like so and then the third one through here if you have a splash card obviously you got to take this off but i don't have one installed currently and the third one right there so let's go ahead and get those out and free up that tow hook real quick it actually was easier for the swivel to be up on the socket actually to get to the rest of them so go ahead and do it that way and get to it all right we got it freed up so should be able to just slide it right on out. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the new one. Here we are. And it's flat, so I don't think there's a way. I mean, see if there's a slight bend at all. Go ahead and pretty much just slide it back on through where you took it out. There we are. Cool. And then you literally just bolt it in. All right. If there's a torque spec, I'll try and put it right here. Um, on the screen, but I couldn't find much. So I just did it as tight as I could. All right, this part's not really necessary, but I typically tend to mark my bolts here. Sure, good enough. <laughs> All right. So yeah, here she is. Looks pretty good. Um, doesn't stick out as far out as I thought it would. Um, like I, I thought it was gonna be a little bit sticky out, but that's okay. It looks pretty good. Nice and subtle. Um, I do have toe stickers coming. Uh, I'm not sure when <laughs> when they'll get here, but hopefully soon. Um, it's pretty much just an arrow pointing to the toe here. And yeah, good. so let's go ahead and get to the rears. Well, this is kind of unfortunate. It's not plug and play for the rear, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, so you've got one mounting hole that obviously fits right and you have to drill the side hole I mean, it's it's this probably the best way just because it's one unit and it's secure properly. So It's not too bad um, Let me go ahead and feed that bolt through and see where it kind of hangs and then we're gonna go ahead and mark that with a marker And go ahead and drill All right, so we got the drill um, got a smaller bit just to start the pilot hole. I kid I could not find a freaking marker so I'm just gonna go ahead and drill into wherever it sits best I could. So I just pretty much have it nice and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and put the nut in so it's tight. This will be kind of tricky. Um, I'm gonna have to hope that the back will be able to stay in. Oof. Let me go ahead and get that nut in. Okay, so I pretty much just held the nut back here like so and then I slid this in and started twisting that it's a little tricky but you'll get it and then as long as you put tension to the back you should be able to tighten it I don't see how I could get anything in there unless I get like an angled um, wrench or something but as long as you have it tight it'll tighten itself because those are uh, like locking nuts I think and they're thread not threaded but they have like grooves in them so they start going into the metal to prevent them from spinning so should be alright and now you know make sure you have it properly kind of set here um, and then when you drill it you just want them pretty much just angled properly not too low not too high but I don't think you can go that high so should be chilling right here like I said just gonna go ahead and do the pilot hole now and we're going to go ahead and get the right size all right pilot is drilled uh, not too big obviously you got to go a little bit bigger just slightly um, so one more size up my pilot was a, f a quarter a little bit bigger but nothing else would cut through so quarter pilot then i'm gonna go up to this size all right the size i chose was 5 16th that should be perfect so 5 16th drill bit and let's make that hole 
All right, not my prettiest job, but got it done. I had to step up to a, a three eighths bit, but my bits were really crappy, so that'll work. Um, last thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and put a coat of paint just to make sure because you don't want it to rust. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray this up all around because um, I did kind of nick the inside a little bit too. Let it dry, and then we're going to get the tulip on. All right, so I did like two or three coats here. Nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and put this back on. Um, since that one is probably gonna be harder to get to, I'm gonna go ahead and do the side first. So I'm just gonna slide it in and then hold it with my finger. If I can find where it goes in there, hold it like that um, if I can. And then just keep it tight. It'll start tightening, don't worry about it. And then the other side should be able to go from the top. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, found a way to kind of get a rig to be able to tighten the bolt there. Um, turns out what I thought would happen wasn't really happening. Um, so I pretty much fit a 14 mil quarter inch uh, socket there. And then I put the attachment that you need for, uh, for one of these um, for the screwdriver. And then I'm using a cutter wrench right here to be able to hold it in place like so so it doesn't move if i can get it in yep just like that and then i pretty much just impact it so there's that now i haven't figured out how to get to the other side yet um for this side so i may not be able to do it that way but we'll let me see if it works so for the other side surprisingly it works like i intended um before without the just needing to pretty much smash the metal here. Um, both sides are pretty much ugga dugga with this. So yeah, I think I'd say we're pretty much done. <laughs> Last but not least, just went ahead and marked. Um, couldn't obviously get to the one inside there. My pen doesn't fit, so just gonna have to hope that it's fine. Um, but yeah, we should be good. Okay guys, this is pretty much the uh, tow hook install there. I also got the stickers. I ordered, I thought I ordered yellow, but they only gave me one yellow and one blue, so I went ahead and ordered another yellow, but for now, it don't look too bad. I don't know if it's a little too like in your face, but I love them. They look freaking awesome. Let's go to the back. All right, here's the yellow. I think the yellow looks way better, so, and visible, so. so I'm gonna just kind of do that, but yeah. Um, tow hooks look great, I love them. Um, looks pretty good overall. Got the uh, other yellow sticker coming in. That'll be a matching set. A little bit of a pain for the rear, but either way, hope you guys had a better look than me online and everything. But thanks for watching. Uh, catch you in the next one.